Along with being one of the biggest beauty influencers and trendsetter, Kylie Jenner has also ventured the realms of being a businesswoman, specifically creating different beauty products that were loved by many. Too much of everything is always bad though, and Kylie Jenner can attest to that because her fans are now getting tired of her doing too much when it comes to introducing new beauty products and brands. And according to different theories making rounds on social media as to why Kylie Jenner is doing this, many are calling it her downfall. But is it? Yeah, sadly I think so, because hear me out. I think this is the downfall of Kylie Jenner and I'm gonna explain why. Recently, I don't know if anyone else has been keeping tabs on her, but she has created a lot of different companies all in a span of like a couple months, which is kind of sus to me. It makes me feel like she's either running out of money or she is realizing that her relevance is just slowly dwindling down. Let's take, for example, she just launched a alcoholic beverage called Sprinter. Kylie Jenner has been on an unpopular trend of introducing new businesses and products every other day that in the past few months, she introduced a clothing brand, a perfume line, a mascara, a beverage brand and now she just introduced another mascara and people are now saying enough with it the frustration from people comes with the fact that they think that she is doing this not because of passion but just using her businesses solely for cash grabbing because there is no way that she has interest in all the things that she's exploring she's been launching a lot of products in the past month First, it was Kai, which is her clothing brand. Then it was another type of mascara. Then it was a vodka spritzer. And now she's launching another mascara. As someone who worked as a marketing manager for companies like Spotify, Uber, and also DoorDash, my biggest question for Kylie is, how is this Wisp Lash Mascara different from the other mascara that you launched a month or so ago? Because personally for me as a consumer, it's giving very scattered energy right now because I personally don't really understand the difference in these products and how you even as a brand founder integrate these products into your own life. Like after the product launches, I don't really see Kylie like talking about these products or even wearing them or just showing like her community that's also wearing these products. Others are advising her not to split her focus because it will lead to all the brands failing, but instead put all her focus and money in one business and it will help her to create one giant empire. Let's see about her recent moves that sparked all these debates among her fans. So a few hours ago, she took it to her Instagram to announce that on 4th April, she will be dropping a new mascara for her Kylie Cosmetics, which will be called Wisplash Mascara. Now, this comes not so long ago after she released another mascara and people are saying that this was so uncalled for and unnecessary because there's literally no difference between these two products. Kylie Jenner, you need to fire the lab that did your mascara because it's absolutely garbage. Before you call me a hater, I actually like a couple of her products, but this was not it. Let me show you why. It's very watery and easily gets on your lash line. The formula is thick. It adds volume, but not really any length. It looks all right after one coat, but it all goes downhill from here. Once you add a second coat, it looks so clumpy and honestly, it just weighs down your lashes. Why would you own two different mascaras from the same brand? There is already, this is already looking bad for Kylie because looking at how people negatively reacted to it, this might not result in what she hoped for because people will not buy her products. But like I said, this is not the only Kylie's move that has been criticized lately because she also recently launched her perfume line and the reaction has been the same. In March, Kylie Jenner launched Cosmic, her fragrance line, 
which also people said was not needed as they did not like how she wants to do everything. The same was for her clothing line Kai, but all hell broke loose when she released her vodka soda Sprinter and people woefully attacked her for now taking it way too far and out of the beauty industry and others say that she wants to compete with her sister Kendall Jenner who already owns a tequila brand called 818. One fan said, Kaylee, maybe focus on one brand and perfect it and then move on to another. The second one said, Kylie, don't you have enough businesses? Then the last one says, what's next? Toilet paper? Basically, people are trolling and I can't imagine how Kylie must be feeling right now, especially since she thought that people would buy anything she sells. But why is Kylie Jenner doing this? It is interesting because a few years after she was called the world's youngest self-made billionaire, the reason for her recent funny business episodes is rumored to be because she might be getting broke, which is why she is trying to milk her fans by introducing all kinds of products to them and maybe there is some truth to it because when you look at the whole Kardashian family, she is the only one doing this at the moment and maybe maintaining that private jet got harder and more demanding that she and her momager had to craft some moves but her fans are not buying it. For the past couple of weeks, there have been theories of the beauty influencer getting broke and they were mainly sparked by the fact that she was trying to sell her Beverly Hills mansion and how desperate she was because the initial listing for the property was $21.9 million but after she failed to sell it, she changed and listed it for $20 million which she also later changed and now it is currently at $17.9 million. One TikTok user said in her video, Also rumors that Kylie Cosmetics is going bankrupt, which wouldn't surprise me. I don't see anyone use it anymore, but it makes sense. And it's why she keeps coming out with random businesses. She needs money to upkeep her lifestyle because she lives well beyond her means. All of the people that work for her that she has to pay, the nannies, the publicists, all of the people that work for her businesses. I read she had like 10 cars or something. She is not passionate about any of this stuff. She's throwing shit at the wall to see what sticks so she can make a buck off of you. But hey, when it comes to the speculations about her downfall, it goes beyond just people getting tired of her several business ventures, but also the controversies which come with them. Because for instance, when you look at her cosmetic brand, Kylie Cosmetics, ever since it was launched in 2016, it has faced several controversies, including her eyeshadow palettes that caused people headaches. People who found ants in her packages, messed up packaging, and recently she was hit with sanitary criticism when she visited one of her labs in Italy. Kylie Jenner was filmed in her lab with bare hands, loose hair, and recklessly interacting with her products, and her fans say that this incident was disgusting because if the owner doesn't put efforts in making sure that her products are safe, even when she's on camera, it gives hints that what happens when the cameras are not filming must be worse. Her other brands that she recently launched are no different because when, when you look at her perfume line, its launch came with a controversy revolving around a cake owner who was claiming that Kylie Jenner and her team exploited her and on top of that, they copied her designs. When you look at her cosmic launch pictures and this cake, and this cake maker's cake designs, they look so identical. So the cake brand's owner broke her silence where she narrated how they exploited her and wasted her time which started with them getting in touch with her where she spent a lot of hours making them a deck of her cake samples that they would choose from. But they ended up not buying from her and was surprised when Kylie finally launched her line and she saw that they used her designs. Now, at this point, it is a known pattern for Kylie Jenner to steal ideas from small creators and business owners because even her clothing brand Kai was hit with numerous accusations of Kylie Jenner having copied designs from different small businesses. One incident was from Jess, who owns a small clothing brand Johansen. So Jess said that Kylie Jenner stole her entire collection of dresses 
where she said that Kylie's recent dress collection was a completely no cost of her collection that she released three years back and shared side to side pictures which show how similar these dresses are. So all these controversies and criticisms surrounding all her brands make people less and less interested in her brands by the day. And this might mean that her influence is not here for a long time because people are starting to cancel and boycott her products. So what do you think about this? Are you okay with her launching as many businesses as she pleases? Do you think that this will eventually lead to her downfall? Well, tell me what you think about this and stay tuned for more beauty news.